There we go. Winston, Winston wiped. Yeah. Everybody looks into here. Welcome back to the loo. We are going to play with marbling today, but not with paper. This is something I saw recently over on Louise Singleton's channel. I will link to that below. She did a really neat idea, which was marbling on aquacast blanks. And I'm pointing over here because I have a whole bunch of these. I have six. I have six. I made six of these coaster blanks yesterday. No colorant at all. I could have colored them white to make them even prettier, but didn't bother with that. So these have dried overnight, and I am now going to use them for paper marbling. So it's going to be aquacast marbling. There you go. I'm using this kit that you've seen before. I will link to that video below. It's really good. Of all the paper marbling kits I've done and things I've tried, I like this kit the best so far. There are others I, I still have yet to try. But this came with a lot of the powder that makes the water thick, the carrageenan. I was mispronouncing it carrageenan last time, apparently, and Google informed me that it should be carrageenan. Carrageenan. So... My apologies. But the point is, they send you a lot in here. So the, even though I've done paper marbling here, and I use the same kit to do tumbler marbling on three different stemless wine glasses, I will link to that video here as well if you haven't seen that, there's still more of the carrageenan powder in here to do more marbling with. So I've gone ahead and I've mixed up 500 milliliters of the powder with some water. And I don't, for some reason, I can't find this tray that came inside this box. I've got everything else saved in here from the kit, but not that tray. And I'm pretty sure it's here somewhere, but I can't seem to locate it, which is something you could say about 95% of my, my materials here in the workroom. I will come across it at some point when I don't need it anymore, but until then, we're gonna use this. So I'm gonna get out the colors. As I recall from last time, these are the rainbow colors in neon, and these are the rainbow colors in regular. And I think all of these are, are acrylic paints. I think the key here is not the paint, but the water, but I'm not 100% certain, so we're gonna go ahead and use, because I know these work. So I've, like I say, I've mixed up a whole bunch of this stuff for two different projects already. And then this, this took two of the spoonfuls they enclosed. So 500 milliliters with two spoonfuls of the carrageenan powder. And even after all that, I still have two packets of powder left. I would say there's at least three spoonfuls in each one of these packets. So this is a good kit. Lots of multiple uses, which I am all in favor of with a kit. This water can be saved. If you find you get to the end of your project and you have some left, you can keep it in the fridge for about a week and it doesn't go bad. You can still use it if you can think of something else to do with it after the fact. Let's just get started. I guess we can get two goes with this. That's half of the, the mixture and I have half left. Okay, I'm gonna go with the neons because why not? The brighter, the better for me, in my opinion. <laughs> As I recall, you need to be a little patient with these, put a drop on and let it completely dissipate before you add more to it. So there it goes dissipating completely. I'm gonna put some more in there. I'll just make the... But it will also sometimes sink to the bottom and that's, you can't use that. It's just the stuff floating on top we're gonna use. Okay. Yep, that one, that one fell to the bottom. Okay. Just keep trying. If I get down closer, maybe that'll help. Now the reason they want you to wait for it to dissipate is if you were to put some paper in here now, for example, or anything else, these spots that haven't dissipated yet would come up as blobs on your design. So the, the waiting part is just to make the design look more consistent without blobs. Here we go, first one. Ooh, look at that. Pop the bubble there. Shall I add back in? I'll add a little more blue. This came with a kit. 
So that's one other reason I like this kit so much. I'm trying to do what I do when I use Easy Marble paints, which is kind of get rid of what's left so I can start with a relatively fresh slate. So let's try the warmer colors now because I'm guilty of not using them enough, I'm sure. I can barely fit this one in here, but I think I think I can do it. Let's go with the well, that's interesting. They're too fat. Does not want to respond to that. Let's see about the thinner one. Yeah, that works a little better. Not much though. Huh, that's interesting. So I can't really get the the peacock effect. Well, not that that's a problem. There we go. Kind of chaotic, but kind of pretty. Interesting. Ah, sugar. As I recall, I do not dare double dip. I thought I got that in there all the way. You know what? I'm going to go for it. Yeah, that's not horrible. It's not great. It's not horrible. Let's do another one and see what we get here. Move you off to the side and work with this collection over here. Oh, that's pretty. Let's use the rest of our liquid. I mean, why not? We've got it. And I don't plan on revisiting this anytime soon, and I don't want to throw it away. So there we go. Winced, winced and wiped. Yeah. Rinsed and wiped out. No problem. Put in the other half of the liquid. And we'll do red, orange, yellow, and maybe a tiny bit of purple. Our warm colors in there. So recall, the red is definitely a red. It's not a magenta. Oh yeah. Ooh, pretty. Even for a non-orange lover like me. <laughs> all right, cool. I am going to set these aside and we'll let them all dry. And maybe I'll bring them back into frame for a sec here so you can revisit things. Oh, shoot, man. Well, don't put your finger right in it like I just did. I think it's okay. Wow, they get slippery. Okay. There we go. Those should hopefully all be in frame. And we will come back and see what they look like when they're dry. Stay tuned. Hey, we're back. Okay, these have thoroughly dried. And other than this one, which was the double dip, it just reinforced my rule to never double dip when you're doing marbling because it just ends up looking a mess. Other than this one, I think they turned out beautifully. They're, they're uh, interesting. This one looks a little dirty where the previous paint was still in the water and I went ahead and did it anyway. Obviously these ones where I had clean water to start. Yeah, this has got a little remnant water in it, but I, they're all beautiful. And the question is what happens now? So I did a test. I got out some Deco Art Triple Thick Brilliant Brush on Gloss Glaze. And I just went around the edge of this one cause I don't, I mean, this one's kind of, kind of a goner anyway. So I figured this is a good test. I put the gloss around the edge just to see if something in the varnish would make the paints reactivate and, you know, smudge together and stuff. And it didn't. If you look at my paintbrush, you can see a tiny little bit of the dark came off. So there might be a little bit of residual activation. It'll probably mess this up a little more, but who cares? I think it'll be okay on these others. So I'm just going to go ahead, put some gloves on and 
glossify these. I am not going to be able to get you a sunshot. We are having crap weather this month already and it looks like it's just going to keep on being this way and I have to get this video up tomorrow. So won't be a sunny shot outside afterwards. You'll just have to use your imagination but we will at least glaze these and finish the video that way. Here we go. By the way, you can do uh, multiple layers of this. In fact, they recommend it. It's not smearing anything. For the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna do one layer on everything to show you. There you have it. You could you could use a spray finish, um, gloss spray would be fine. Probably finish it in other ways. You could probably finish it with epoxy resin if you wanted to. I'm not going to, <laughs> but it's another possibility. So this was fun. I recommend this kit for many projects that you can get out of it. And putting marbling on Aquacast works great. So thank you to Louise Singleton for suggesting the idea. I think it's fun and it turns out beautifully. We have some beautiful coasters now. Thanks everyone. Stay safe. I will see you in the next video.